and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne and my assistant for today is Joanna. And what we're going to teach you today is how to do a kennel clip clip on a poodle. Now the example we're using today is a standard poodle. This is Lucas. Lucas, let's see, you want to say hi? <laughs> He's like, a little tall, so let me see if we can get him under here. There you go. There you go. Hi, so this is uh, Lucas. He's a standard poodle. And uh, he's a regular client of ours, so we're going to show you how to do the clip. If you'd like, um, everybody can come around here. We did the, the one side already. This is a kennel clip. And basically it's shorter in the middle, a little fuller on the legs. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's like a tubular all the way down the legs. It's like little huh? balloon legs on the side. Okay, short on the body. Nice. All right. And same with the rears, huh? Yes. Kind of tubular. What do you do with the tail? Anything yet? Or? No, nothing yet. We're leaving that for last. Uh -huh. But uh, most importantly, I want to talk about the tools we're going to use today. And we set out the tools here on the table. Usually, you do not leave your. Um, your tools on the table where you have a dog because they have a habit of you know kicking them off so what we're going to use today is a greyhound comb which is also known as a, fl a fluffing comb All right. we're going to uh, use a seven finishing blade we have two in case one gets hot uh, we also have a ten blade for the sanitation and, and short areas we have a thirty blade we're going to use this for the attachment combs we're going to show you how to use attachment combs on the legs and also how to blend. We also have a slicker brush, which is a, a brush that will brush out the coat. Uh, for this example, we're using an eight and a half straights because he's a, it's a lot of ground to cover with him. And also eight and a half curves. And of course we have, we have a wall a cordless clipper. And also we have an Andis two-speed clipper. All right, uh, we're gonna be referencing the Sam Cole All Breed Dog Grooming Guide. Okay, this is kind of beat up. We use it a lot. All right, but I'm going to turn to that page. That wasn't kidding. We do use it a lot. Okay, and here is the one we're going to be doing today: the kennel clip on a poodle. As you can see, Mr. Cole uses numbers, and all you do is follow the numbers and look at the explanation and instructions according to those numbers. All right? Mm -hmm. I also wanted to show you in here that the lamb clip, because we, won't, we don't have a video on the lamb clip, is really just a, uh, a longer version of the kennel clip, uh, meaning that we might not use a seven in the middle here, we might use a, 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 a three or a five or a four blade, which leaves more length on, on the coat. So just for explanation, the lamb clip and the kennel clip are similar, just that the lamb clip leaves the coat a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. All right, and also wanted to show you in the book, it does show you the different types of heads that you can do on poodles. Um, most poodles have what's called a clean face, which means we shave the face, just like on this one as well. Uh, we have the puppy clip, and you can see there's there's a full, it's a fuller top knot. This is more defined top knot, mm -hmm. and sometimes on the on the muzzle you'll leave mustaches. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get started. It looks like uh, Lucas is getting restless, but again, I just wanted to tell you that, that this is the book to get, The All Breed Dog Grooming Guide by Sam Cole. Mm -hmm. All right? All right. So what we're going to do first is ideally what you want to do is set the pattern prior to bathing. Now, uh, Lucas here has already been bathed. All right? Uh, so... We didn't do the pre-clip on him, or we didn't set the pattern. So we're going to go ahead and start trimming. 
So we've done the uh, his left side, and now you're going to show us how to do the right side. All right, we're going to do the Too right much. side, pretty much. Okay. All right. First thing you want to do, I want to show you. You notice here, Lucas has all his feet shaved. These are called poodle feet, on three feet already. Okay. So the back ones are shaved. And the one front one is shaved. And mm -hmm. we save one for you so that we can show you how to do this. You can see the difference. This is a really furry little foot and compared to this clean foot. Mm -hmm. All right? So we're going to get started on that. And the position I'm going to take is the most comfortable. Okay, we're going to use a, a 30 on him. It's a very short shave. Now, Lucas, Lucas is a little bit heavy footed. You might get some dogs that just want to fight you a little bit, but just you can't rush this. Just take your time. And what you're going to do is you're going to go against the grain. Keep going up. Okay, so we're just continuing to clip against the grain with the 30. What I like to do, what you're going to do is you're just going to go. Here's your knuckles, where your knuckles would be, your first knuckles, okay? Right in here. See, I told you the more heavy-footed. <laughs> right in here. You want to go right to the second set, which is the bigger knuckle on your hand. All right? So we're going to go right about there. You might get a request by a client that says, oh, bring it up a little bit higher because it gets really dirty. You can do that, but as far as the breed, how it's supposed to be, it's okay. Um... Go to, go to the first uh, knuckle. Now, don't I, I want, you, want you to see here? Is I don't want you to forget this part right here. A lot of groomers will forget that. So you have to go all the way around. Nice, clean foot. All right. I'm gonna get in front of you here. And we're gonna clean the inside of the pad. It's a little heavy coated. And we're just going to scoop that out. Okay. You're all right. You're okay. Now you just kind of keep going until he, you know, he won't tolerate anymore, but you really want to try and get that nice and clean. And I mean, you figure it's, it really tickles. So he's not fighting you because you're hurting him. He just says, hey, that tickles. Then you want to go in the middle of the, in between the toes here and pull that ha hair out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in front of you and get a better shot of this so people can see. So how did you pull it out? If you can Basically, I just kind of pulled it out like this in between the toes. So you go in between the toes and just lift them up then? Yes. It's okay, you're okay. Now, really have to get in there. I gotta spread those toes. That's why these uh, cordless clippers come in really handy. Now, there's some poodles that, poodles that never get used to this. <laughs> my, my poodle being one of them, I had a poodle just would not tolerate this at all. You have to be careful with the webbing in here. Okay. Now, once again, it's really heavy footed. <laughs> Now, if the dog is fighting you a lot, you know, you're just going to do it the best you can. You know, don't try to be a hero because you might have a grooming accident. So you just do what you can. Mm -hmm. Most clients know their dog's behavior. Can I see? Thank you. <laughs> 
Let me get these hairs underneath here. He's a strong boy, huh? He's strong, yeah. Okay, it's gonna break on that. Might go back and finish up a little bit more, but I think we did pretty good. If you remember what that looked like before. Alright, that's a workout. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the pattern. Okay, we're gonna work on body parts. You wanna work with with the body first. Now, you know, we worked on one side, but just work in small areas. Don't get uh, too overwhelmed with what's going on with, with the entire dog. So what we're using today, we're using the seven finishing blade. And we're gonna go ahead and set the pattern. We're actually just gonna create the pattern because it's already been based. We usually start around the withers, which is the shoulders. Okay, going with the grain. So tall. All right. I'm gonna go all the way down to his tail, and then this is a good uh, guide uh, gui guideline. You go right before the flank. You go down. Okay. So this is the flank area. Same thing here. We're going to go right before that, and go all the way down. What you want to do is just get rid of all the all the middle part here. You can see how fast this could go. Especially if you have a pet that's gonna cooperate with you. I'm stretching the skin just to be able to get that tickle. Yeah, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Always checking the temperature of your blade on your wrist. If it's too hot for your wrist, it's too hot for the dog. Okay. So now that we've got the middle area um, cleaned up here, uh, we want to give, give it those lamb legs, okay, or those balloon legs. And basically your guideline is around the hip area, the hip bone. And you always want to leave a, go a little higher than what you would Normally you like it. Because you gotta leave room for blending. Okay? So you can see that looks kind of funny, but we're gonna we're gonna use that to blend nice legs on it. Over here. There you go. Okay. I'm going to continue on this side, and then the guideline for the for the shoulder here is how you go over here. Don't be shy. You'll be used to the camera. <laughs> is right above, right where the shoulder would be. And then I'm just gonna leave a little loop here, a little round area that I can work with to create that balloon leg. Or like chat, you know. Alright? I'm gonna go ahead and finish the neck area up here. So you go to where? The bottom of the skull here? Yeah, for the base of the skull here. The base of the skull. And we'll probably do some more uh, finishing on that area, but since I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Same blade, 7F, 7F, the whole body, huh? Yes. So we're following through. You've got a whole lot of ears there. You can hold his ears up like that. All in here. Everything's being, we're being taking the 7 and taking everything off what we call the torso, the neck. All in here. All the all, the only thing that we're leaving is the legs. Taking everything off the neck. Remember it with the grain.
going in the middle here. Lucas had a couple of uh, 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 heavy matting, so we had to go in a little bit uh, closer inside. But basically, you just leave some big balloon pants on it. All right. So there you go. There's our pattern. Right. Okay. So now we're just going to work one leg at a time. Okay. Now you notice he's been brushed out pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and fluff him up a little bit. Now what are we going to do is, remember we talked about the attachment cones with a 30 blade? Okay, we want to be shorter here and then longer as we come down, alright? So whenever you're using an attachment uh, a cone, you use a, a 30 blade. And what I'm going to start off with first, this happens to be an Oster um, brand, is I'm going to start with a comb that's going to leave about a half an inch on the body. And the way you, you put them on is it has a little hinge right here. Clip it onto the back of the blade here. And then push it up. It's like a spring action so it attaches itself to the top of the blade there. Okay? So we're going to start up here. And I'm going to not go down, I'm just going to flick the top ever so slightly like this. Just to create the blend that you're looking for? Yeah, I'm just trying to get it, you know, shorter than longer. Because right before it was just big. Now I'm going to switch to a longer uh, attachment comb. Now the good idea with attachment comb, like this one leaves a half an inch, go to the next quarter inch length, which would be three quarters of an inch. And then start going a little bit further down. Now if you get too much resistance, it needs to be brushed out a little bit more. You never want to pull, try to make the comb go through the coat uh, because the risk you take is that the attachment comb comes flying off and now you've got a 30 gouge in the coat. There's no way you can hide that. A 30, is that a surgical blade? It like leaves that? like, you know, it's almost like, it almost takes off the first layer of skin cells. <laughs> wow. You know, they use it to, to uh, prepare a, dog, a pet for surgery. Okay, so all I'm doing is allowing, I'm not going into the curves of the, of the head, I'm just going straight down. Just having the clipper do most of the work for me. Alright, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at my other side and see the balance of, of, of the legs back here. I want to make sure that they're on the same hmm. length. I can see already that the one side is a little bit shorter, so I'm going to start taking my seven blade and just flicking, blending a little bit here. Just taking off more, more hair. 
You see that? Mm -hmm. They want to match the left yeah. to the right. Yeah, and the other side needs to come down on just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get on that other side and just kind of bring it down just a little bit more. So that it comes down and looks the same. Okay? Now what we want to do, this is where we want to start with the scissor work. I am, then I'm going to comb that up. Bad idea. And I'm going to use my curves because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a curve here and I'm going to start kind of blending that a little bit more. Like I said, the, the clippers will do a lot of your work but you'll still have to come in here and do some finish work. Especially when it comes to this type of clip. She's always fluffing his coat and kind of just removing just flush, the excess. Yeah, huh? fluffing and, and, and trimming and fluffing and trimming. Yeah, just pull the skin back so I can get in there. Do is start going down the the leg. Okay, and I'm gonna switch to my straights, and I'm just gonna fluff up a little bit, and I'm gonna go just across the leg here. You never want to go this way. You're gonna create a line. You wanna go up, or you wanna go? Yeah. Again, here we are fluffing and, and trimming. can't have a dog sit when you're doing legs, obviously, even when you're doing the body. They can sit for the head, for de but definitely for the body, not for the body. Again, we're just taking off anything that kind of sticks out at us. Okay, this right here. You want to have it to have a little bit of a curve and then it comes out and then in. Okay? This is where the hawk is at. You want to use your curves in here to help you. Can to create that curve there. But it's just at this point, it's just about really just uh, fluffing and shaping and fluffing and shaping. And then I did I say fluffing and shaping? That's what it is. When you look at the dog from the back end. Have a look here. Again, more fluffing and more shaping. Just take your time, be patient. Take your time, be patient. Now, on a smaller breed, like a toy, 
you won't be able to get your hand in there, so it's okay to go this way. I know that's like, I told you, don't do that again, because it'll create a line. But you can't really see the inside of the leg anyways, and it's, you, you know, you can't get in there. Now, one thing we gotta do is we gotta create this little bevel down here, and I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna comb everything down. Okay, take your straights. And just take off like a half an inch all the way around. No, tickles. Okay. What that does is when you comb it up, now you have a little bevel at the bottom. It's not so straight edge. Okay. What that's going to help us to do is, is when we start shaping the bottom, let's show you in a second. You can do it with your curves. You start shaping this bottom. So it looks more beveled. We're going to continue to do that until we feel that it's nice and clean, nothing sticking out. Basically, you're looking for a nice tubular oh, gets it. Oh, it. Um, foot, leg, getting rid of all these extras, looking at it from every angle. You know, walk away from it for a little bit if you have to and see if anything's sticking out. Because you have a general idea of what it's supposed to look like. So if anything's kind of popping out, let the dog shake and see if he shakes anything out. All right, so you can't rush this. If you have a client that wants to do a rush job, they're not gonna be happy. And quite frankly, neither are you. So you just keep doing that until you have a nice tubular leg. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just um, finish this one up. And then we'll come around and show you the, how to do the front one. Okay, so here we are uh, finishing up uh, Lucas' front leg. Basically, we did, we did the same exact thing that we did in the back, we did in the front. So just trimming, blending. The same thing we did at the bottom on the other leg to make that, that nice little um, curve here. We did that. So again, you can't, you cannot um, uh, expect to, to rush yourself through uh, this kind of process. Okay. So the next thing we're going to go to, we're going to go to the tail, and then we're going to finish off with the head. Okay. Now on the tail here, and we're going to go ahead and use a, a, a ten or a fifteen. I haven't decided what I'm going to use yet. We're going to go from the base of the tail here to hit there to, to about right, right about there on the tail, okay? Basically, it's shorter than the body. So you used a 7F on the body, and now you're using what, a 10 or a 15? I'm using a 15 on, on, on the tail here. A 15? Yes. Okay. So you want it shorter than the body. I want Got it shorter. It's one nice short. Now, um, if you saw, well, you have seen actually the, the, the other clip on the poodle where we did the, uh, the pom poms on on the legs, and we did a pom pom on the tail. The tail on the other poodle was a little bit more round, and this one is, is a little bit longer, more tubular. Okay, so you have two types of tails you can do. Okay, I'm gonna comb it through. Twist the end, and then trim off the end. 
Okay. And what you do? This is going to have to be combed through a little bit. Is they like it a little bit more tubular? But all I want to do is just take the the end of the tail and just make sure that it's nice and round. Taking off anything that's kind of sticking up. Yeah, the, with the straight or the curved scissors, you do. That. You know, I'll confess, I'm doing it with the straights. I just learned to work with the straights, but if, you know, to make it easier, you would use their, your straights to create that nice curve. The curves or the straights? The curves. The curved scissors. Okay. No, 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 city. Wants to sit. Wants to come off that table. Okay. He just has a really nice poofy tail. Sit back to see. Let's see how I like that. Let me see. Just gonna go around it a little bit. Yeah, anything kind of sticks out, like a sore thumb. You just have to kind of look at, you know, from the horizon, just kind of look at it from taking off all. Anything can just kind of sticks up. You know, I wish we had a, a, a pattern that we can just cut out and you can sit on the dog and just trim that, but that's, that's not the reality is you have to have a little bit of patience and when it comes to scissor work, just get a little creative. No rushing during this part. All right. I'd like to pull this tail crooked. Nope. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking to see if anything's kind of sticking out. Now it just looks like a mop. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the to the head. Okay. Hey, Lucas. Yeah. And Lucas can sit down at this point. So now, if he wants to, he was dying to do it earlier. Go ahead, sit down. Do what you want. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is clear the way. I'm going to shave his face first. I'm going to use a 30 with Lucas because he's kind of used to it. And I'm going to go, your rule is, from the corner of the eye straight to the nub of the ear here. Okay. And on the face, you want to go against the grain. Okay. Don't be shy around the eyes. You got to get in there. Don't press too hard, though. But you know, not all dogs will cooperate for you on this. But look at this. So go to the nub here and go a little bit of a B shape. Okay, so I'm just going to set the pattern first. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to where I was at the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to go up. So I've got my pattern already, and I can really get in there and get get a nice close shape. To stretch that lip back. So you don't get it caught on the blade.
This is called a clean face. Right here, don't forget here. Pull that back. A lot of dogs won't cooperate here, but he's really good. Look at you, I have eyes. And then, don't forget these. Alright. Okay, so that's where we are as far as shaving the face. Now we're going to move on to the top knot. Brush out those ears real quick. All right. And that's, he's a little heavy headed. Heavy footed, heavy headed. Okay. So I'm going to use my straights and my curves. First thing I'm going to do is. Come it forward. And with my straights, I'm going to cut across. Kind of like right before the stop. So a little bit before that, okay? I have to come back in here and, and shave a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to comb it to one side. Okay. And we're going to go across the side here and above the ear. Make sure you're above the ear because you don't want to. That's a serious. Look, like he's wearing a helmet. Yep. <laughs> he's getting his helmet head on. He's gonna be a biker. Right. Now, once we got that, I'll be able to brush that up a little bit, and this should be really kind of straight up and down. So you might have to go back in here and go straight up and down. That's to blend it, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I don't want, if you look at it from the front, I don't want it to be like this. Mm -hmm. I want it to be straight up. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So you can go back and finish up a little bit more, but right now we're just setting that, what's, what you set up, uh, what's called a box. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Your ears are getting in your mouth, Lucas. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do the same. Going all the way to the back. Now I'm going to Now he looks funny. Huh, you look funny. And we're not done yet. Okay. So we're going to, I see some areas that could use a little bit more trimming with a clipper. I didn't go up far enough. Okay. I'll do the same thing on here. It's okay to go back. Just kind of giving them a final touch yeah. of final touch. clipping. Now this is what we want to switch over to our curves. Okay, so I'm, we're going to be on, I'm going to be facing Lucas here and I'm going to fluff up his head. Now we're going to set the height of the top knot. So 
So this is where he cannot be moving or anything. So we're going to start from the front and we're going to start going all the way to the back a little bit at a time. And deciding just how tall this top knot's going to be. It's kind of scary. You don't want to take them too down. Yeah, well, you just do a little bit at a time. Once you figure it out, okay, that's where I want to be. Now you're going to have these two sides here that need to be blended. So now I've got to make those round. I'm going to use my, my curves or my rounds to take off the edge. Sorry, I just threw hair over at the... I'm throwing hair over at, at Joanna. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joanna. <laughs> She's throwing hair on you? <laughs> I can see her over that. Yeah. You guys will get used to it in this business. <laughs> you probably have a nest in your stomach somewhere. I'm on the hair you inhale. is just really trying to get that nice little top knot that's nice and curvy. No, no, you know, uh, sharp edges, just curves. Again, this takes time. So continue to do that. We're going to continue to do that on both sides and then we'll show you the finished product. So pretty much you're going to blend the other side now with this side and uh, then he'll be done. He'll huh? be done. We'll come back and show you what he's supposed to look like uh, finished. And uh, see Lucas ready for a night out. So here we go with Lucas. He's complete. We did his top knot with his clean face and his, just turned up the ears a little bit. So he's in a kennel clip. Um, what did you do to the ears? I'm sorry. We just trimmed the ends a little bit. We just didn't do anything. We just left them long. It's really the preference of the of, of the client what they want us to do. So he's got his top knot, his balloon legs, uh, his nice full tail, shaped feet. I'm going to take is, a pan. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you're taking a pan? Okay. So that's the yeah, example of a kennel, a kennel clip. Kennel clip. Yes. Kennel clip. So go ahead and... Uh, you know, view the videotape at least three times. Take your time with this with this clip, okay? You can't rush it, and it's going to take a little time to, to get it right. So make sure, again, read, uh, read the material, look at the video three times, and have fun with it. Thank you again for uh, viewing our instructional video, and we'll see you in the next one. Well, thank you, Yvonne, and uh, Joanna, thanks for helping and eating all this uh, poodle hair. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Next time we'll put some salt and pepper on it. Okay. And Lucas, say bye-bye.